Check this out guys. You guys asked for it and we're gonna deliver. We finally got around to updating our feed and grow fish mod. So now you guys can spawn all of the new fish in the new version of feed and grow fish. We've also thrown in a couple of little bit of extras here. So we've added the fizz gun mod here. So you should be able to just pick up the fish and move them around, rotate them. Just move them around and play with them. So lots of goodies here guys. And naturally, I'll show you some other cool little features. If we go into our menu here, let's go fish select. We have every single fish unlocked for you guys. So you can play as absolutely anything. Every single possible fish here guys in the new version. And there is a lot in this version guys. Not only that, you can play as them in any map you want. Let's go ahead and play as this thing here. Wonderful. And we have changed the spawn key to be enter now. So you press enter to spawn now. There we go. So we're playing as this massive guy within the river map. That's kind of awesome. Alright, a couple of other quick things. So if we go spectate, we've added a space bar so you can actually fly up into the air. Control to fly down in the air. You can hold the sprint key. You can go absolutely ridiculously fast. There we go, guys. Classic controls. So we're going to use the square brackets. If you look at the top right hand corner there, we can go through. We can actually select different fish to spawn. Yeah, we've got the classic starting level. You can see the controls are up there at the top right. So we can use the dot to basically increase the level. If you hold down shift, you can go incredibly fast. There we go. So that's a level 84 fish right there. Let's go ahead and set it back to level 1 versus a level 1. There we go. So you can see the size difference in level 84 versus level 1, guys. All right. So now, naturally, let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually install this. Come on over to our Feed and Grow Fish repository. There's a link to this in the description of the video. We're looking for this release here, 2019-0414. If you don't see this number here, that means there's been a new release. You should go find a newest video to explain how to install that release. However, if the newest release is 2019-0414, then awesome. Come down to your assembly c .zip. Go ahead and download that. The file has now been downloaded, and here it is, assembly.c -sharp. We can go ahead and right click on that. We're going to come down to extract all. Wonderful, we can leave the default settings. Let's go ahead and press extract. Now it is going to ask us for a password. The password we're looking for is AZA46, as it can be seen on the screen. That's a capital A and a capital F. So AZA46, press OK, and that's going to extract. Now if that did extract correctly, we should see our assembly.csharp.dll and we should see there's a size there. You know, it's around about one megabyte there. So if you see zero, that means you put the wrong password. So make sure you spell that password correctly. Brilliant. We're going to take this assembly.c sharp and let me show you where this goes. Come on over to your feed and grow fish within your Steam client. Wonderful. Right click on your feed and grow fish and go properties. Now, within the properties panel, come to local files and we're going to click on browse local files. Here we are. It's taking me to my feed and grow fish directory, which you can see is in the Steam, Steam apps, common feed and grow fish. We're going to come into our feed and grow underscore data and then into our managed folder. Now within here, we're going to see assembly.csharp.tll. This is the unmodified version of the game. We're going to right click on this and we're going to select rename. And at the end here, we're going to go dot no mods. So if we ever want to restore the old version of the game, we can go ahead and just put this one back. Now we simply take that extracted version of the assembly C sharp. We're going to drag and drop it over here. Boom. It's going to get copied in and there it is, it is in there. Boom, assembly.csharp.dll. Let's fire up the game and see if it actually worked. Okay, so the game's loaded, guys. We can see a 0.1.0.1, perfect. So it's the newest version as of right now. Let's go single play, we've got the new maps, so that's brilliant. Let's go ahead and just jump into the great map, because why not? Give it a sec to load up, and now hopefully we should see all of our mods are here. We have two choices, we can either go spectator mode, which is kind of cool, or we can go into the normal fish selection mode. I think in this case, we're probably going to be going for our spectator. Wonderful. Yeah, we go. You can see at the top right there. Visit youtube.com slash as 46 for more mods. As we hover over stuff, we can actually see. There we go. Wonderful. I can actually pick him up. There we go. Wonderful. And there is a great white shark. Brilliant. We need to get that rotation fixed up there. It's a bit annoying to use right now. We can scroll our mouse wheel to zoom in and out. As you can see, look how scary that is. Amazing. Perfect. We move him around. Fly as fast as we want. Some really weird and downs there, but that's okay. Boom, and there he goes. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and try out the spawning. We're going to spawn a, spawn a Megalodon. There we go. Perfect. What else we got? Prognathodon. There we go. We can spawn, a, spawn out a whole bunch of these bear boys. Check out that. Absolutely amazing. But now we have the ability to actually pick them up and move them around. Perfect. Okay. Let's just make sure. Fish select, guys. Oh yeah, we got all of the fishes here. Every single one. We can pick from any of these. Play as an evil crab, guys. Make sure this actually works. So remember, you got to press enter now to actually spawn. As it says on the controls there. Wonderful. There we are, playing as this guy. A 
That's awesome. That's awesome, guys. So there we have it. There's a quick intro into our latest release of this mod. If you have ideas for this mod, we will eventually get around to adding more features to this. Um, we're still working on a level editor, but haven't really touched it for a long time. Um, the reason being, it's incredibly hard to mod this stuff into the game um, versus making it in Unity directly. So guys, if you want to see updates to this mod, if you want to stay up to date, and if you enjoyed this at all, make sure you smash that like button, guys, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.